Yo, 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 what is up, guys? JD Zero bringing you some, uh, as you can see on the title, is a, uh, my Sword and Shield team. Um, this is gonna be like something that it's kind of a little bit different, not just a like, oh, what I'm going to eventually get as a party team going through the actual game. But also going to be maybe my competitive team as well at the same time. So uh, we're going to go ahead. Again, we're going to go with well, which. Oh, that's not what I want to do. But uh, we're going to go ahead and choose like the uh, basically the first Pokemon that we're going to have here. And the first Pokemon is, is going to be the. Uh, hold on. We're going to have. You know, we're going to start off with Grookey. I know a lot of people have their opinions. I have my opinion. I like Grookey. That's going to be my starter. Uh, a lot of people say they always choose like a fire starter or a water starter or a grass starter. Um, if you know me and you've seen like most of my videos, I either choose between all three. And that's going through generation one has always been a water starter it for generation two it's been a fire starter from generation three it was a grass starter from generation four into being a fire starter from generation five it was another fire starter from generation six it ended up being a water starter Generation 7 ended up going back into a fire starter. Surprisingly, it went back into a uh, fire starter from Generation 7. But here we are, once again, back again. Uh, we're going again, choosing a, uh, a grass starter. I did uh, replay most of the games where I choose the grass starter. That would be probably Generation 4 when I replayed it again and choose uh, a Turtwig to getting the trick the you know, the what you call it the Torterra because I love Torterra Torterra is my favorite Pokemon as a starter other than uh, Infernape so uh, it's one of those things uh, but I guess for this will be considered my first playthrough with Sword and Shield so for Pokemon Sword I really want to have Grookey as the team. It's going to be switched out no matter what. Depending on the abilities, dep not depending on the abilities, but depending on the movesets that the final Evo will have, the evolution will have, will decide if I do change it or do not change it between that and that time. Um, we got a lot of Pokemon here that it will be again switch in switch out depending if they brought back the whole bottle box team then that's perfect because we always need a battle box team you know we always need a battle box team when you come down to like certain things but again uh you guys always know that i'm gonna definitely guarantee hold down uh Togekiss, Togekiss will always be that Pokemon part of my team. Um, now, because you already know Togekiss is the French god of gods. So I'm always going to keep that in mind when when it comes to that team. That's going to be like the, uh, what you call it, the main star of the team. We also have the Hitmonlee. That's also another main star of the team. Um, now for most parts, I do have like, I don't have the picture up here right now, but I do have like either Tritanitar or Gengar will be another, uh, star player in my team. Again, I'm just going off of what I have right now. And again, I need a little bit of a steel going on I need a little, a little bit a still and probably still dragon going on you know again this is the whole situation with teams and team building uh, we have Halucha Halucha is another star player 
that I sometimes carry along with me as well. Again, this is not the, you know, the official team, but again, because I still have mods to switch out with. So, like, again, I have Exelgore, I have the final evolution of the. Uh, Lanoon, I have two different versions of Lanoon. Once, uh, I guess, once Pokemon Home get, comes in, I could get my original Loon and have two of the Loons, and then again switch between those two. Uh, I also have a Star Player as well. We have the uh, Machino, basically the you know again one of the orange mascot of the best flinch got it as well. I always got to keep that in mind, having him, because King's Rock is still part of the game. We don't know if King's Rock is still part of the game, but since Machino is still here, and, you know, it still has that ability of uh, skill skill link, and has its moves still, and is one of the fastest Pokemon, we can see King's Rock coming, coming back and then returning as an item to be used for this Pokemon, so I can't wait. Again, so far we got a pretty good amount of fast Pokemon, but I mean, again, this is the situation with me in dealing with teams like this because lately it's been, it's, it seems that like the whole entire meta is based off a double battle nature. So since it's based off a, battle, a double battle nature, that's the main issue here with my particular team because I always want to use my team for singles I never use my team for a doubles battle but if I do it's, it's, it's gonna be that way but if it's for a singles it's gonna be 3v 3v3 basically but I never really use doubles I, I really don't like doubles that much but I guess that is the meta that is VGC and VGC should have a singles VGC and a doubles VGC they should you know split the two and make it a thing instead of having a just a doubles match because in singles VGC it's basically easy it's it's way much faster than your normal doubles type battle so I don't know why they just haven't graded in that to do singles VGC but it's whatever, you know. They always had VGC set up and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I don't know why they can do it for you know, you know, the major competition like leagues and have singles VGC. So it is what it is. Again, like I said, the team is not completely complete. This is just my thoughts on what I have as for now. Again, I didn't have the picture for Gengar and Tritanitar. I know Gengar and Tritanitar would be switching in between these couple of mods here. But, you know, that's that's pretty much it for my team for uh, Sword. Because I am getting Sword. This is my team that I'm going to be using for Sword. Uh, I know I'm not going to get the team right off the bat. But this is the team that I'm going to generally have through the playthrough. Through the... Uh, once I start building the competitive Pokemon that I want it's pretty much gonna be pretty much somewhere similar to this maybe a little bit different if they have battle box then I could just definitely switch them up there and there and get the right teams the right fix and again we're gonna probably be eventually start doing singles uh, on the channel so can't wait to give you guys that singles battle uh, Wi-Fi battle um, once I get me an Elgato capture card, we can start uh, recording on the uh, the Nintendo Switch and probably start streaming on the Nintendo Switch as well. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little uh, my Pokemon Sword uh, basically team here. Like some would build, some would preparing for maybe a competitive scene play through whatever whatever have you by basically my Pokemon sword uh, 
team build basically uh anyway free because i keep rambling on hope you guys enjoy see you guys later again podcast is probably gonna happen around like on the uh saturday so definitely stay tuned check it out see you guys bye